today i will tell in this video i'm going to tell you how you can create a website and it's an easy step-by-step -step guide for beginners so without wasting any time let's get started so first of all you have to choose your website platform and in order to build a website you first got to decide what platform you're going to build your website with so here what do i mean by platform well, back in 2005, when I started with web development, most sites were created using HTML code, CSS, and PHP. Each of these took a lot of time to learn and were difficult to master, and that's why most people think, uh, still think setting up a website from scratch or is difficult or requires a lot of coding and design in school, but that's no longer true. So in 2021, content management systems like WordPress have made creating a website accessible to everyone. To, to put it simply, a CMS or a website building platform is a user-friendly platform for building websites and managing your own online content. Instead of creating a website from scratch using HTML and PHP and other coding language, so let's talk about some popular site building platform in 2021. So. To better understand uh, which are the most popular content management system, I dug up some recent statistics from W3 Tech and Buildwidth. So I got that uh, I got to know that 44% of websites on the internet are created with WordPress, and 7% are created with Wix, and 4% are created with Squarespace, 2.5% 2, 2 are created with Joomla, and 0.94% are Drupal. So now you can see like near, nearly half of the websites on the internet are running on the WordPress website platform. So what makes them uh, but what makes them a better option than others so so let me tell you why use wordpress and not other website builders so first of all wordpress is free no recurring subscription and it's open source unlike website builders or web design software wordpress doesn't cost a dime to download or install or use so it's built by web developers and there's a large developer community who are designed beautiful free theme and templates making it a easy to get going fast uh, it's highly customizable and user friendly and uh, if you know how to use google doc you already know how to add your own content wordpress can be easily expanded with free add-ons uh, or to handle uh, just about any site you can imagine just from small business website to e-commerce websites with wordpress plugin you will be able to add contact form subscription form image gallery and uh, stores and so on for your website and it's all pretty simple so your site will be responsive, meaning it will work on smartphone and tablets too. So the website you build will instantly be responsive, looking great on every mobile device, smartphone. No need, you need to you don't need to hire a web developer for that. So, so let me tell you if if you're wondering if there is any good alternative for WordPress, yeah, there are plenty, but I will still recommend WordPress. Uh, let's talk about some alternatives of Wix. Uh, or oh, sorry, WordPress. Wix. First of all, let's talk about Wix. <clears throat> It's an easy to use website builder uh, with a simple drag and drop interface, but it has higher cost and it's not suitable for larger sites and impossible to migrate out your website out of there if you need it in future. So second is Squarespace. Squarespace. It's very aesthetically beautiful uh, website builder that makes building beautiful websites easy, but it comes at a higher monthly cost and doesn't have a function to migrate to a website out. So Drupal is a powerful platform that's popular with experienced coders and uh, web developers, but it has a high, high learning curve that makes it not the best option for beginners. So then there's Joomla, it's almost like WordPress, and it's a good tool for website building, but it does request at least some basic understanding of how to write a code to make things work the way you want. So what's, now you may be wondering, what's next? If you are like preferring to use WordPress, then you will I need to get a domain name and hosting for your website. So in order to get a website online, there are two things that you are going to need a domain name, uh, a web address like your site.name.com so, and a website hosting and uh, and uh, website hosting. The WordPress platform is still free, but costing hosting and domain name are not. So however, the combined cost is still less than coffee with around three five dollars a month in order to look professional you need to have your domain name instead of having a free domain that belongs to someone else so for example uh your site.com so so you now you may be wondering where you can get your domain name you can get it from bluehost and it offers you domain name uh, along with the hosting you don't need to pay any additional fee for the domain so so you can try even other hosting providers, and uh, but it's very complicated process. So you, I won't recommend that. So if you get your domain name from Bluehost, you will get your professional email account. You know they are like very professional, like Gmail and Yahoo. So 
so now let's talk about my advice okay avoid the unusual extension and go with dot com dot net or dot org unless they are precisely describe your business i mean then it's usually better to go with a more common extension so so for example if you make a site about poetry the best poetry website dot net is not a good choice poetry academy or poetry fall is much better you can you be you will be able to brand it uh, in later so i guess this was it so thank you so much for watching this video have a great day